that they're going to learn how to do this text animation with Geometry Notes. So let's do it. Let's get the camera, like, go to Geometry Notes, create a new profile. First of all, let's create a text. So let's use a string to curve. Let's connect it here and let's write some word here. For example, I'm going to write letters. So right now here we have a text. Now let's enter this text in the middle, selecting center and here middle. Now let's give a mesh to this text with fill curve. And now let's make it 3D. Let's give some volume. So let's extrude this mesh. I'm going to select, for example, 0 0.3. And really important, remember, when you extrude a text, we always have this empty, ugly face. So we need to fill this text. To do this, what we're going to do is to create another path here and connect it. So let's use join geometry and connect this here. So we have this face back. However, it's not in the right orientation. We can know this if we select here face orientation and we see that this face is red. That means that the normal is inside, it's facing the wrong direction. So we need to flip these faces. So let's add flip faces. And now we have the right orientation. Okay, we have this text and now let's rotate it 90 degrees in this axis. So let's add here, transform, and in this axis, let's select 90 degrees. So we have this vertical text. Now let's focus in the animation. So let's go at the beginning and here let's use rotate instance. Why? Because every letter is an instance and we want to rotate every letter separately. So we are going to use, for example, this rotation in this axis. By the way, if you don't want the letters that are rotating from this line, so from this invisible line, as you can see right now, then disable local space. And now they're rotating from the middle point. So from this point, as you can see. Now we want to animate this, but we want to use index because we want to apply an animation for every letter. So let's use here index. However, first of all, we need to isolate this. And also, if you're going to delay that, it will give you an error. So we need to isolate this axis with combine. And now if we connect index to this axis, we have this rotation in every letter. Why? Really important. Remember that when we connect a vector to a rotation, remember rotation is in degrees and when we connect a vector now it's working with radians so it's not the same adding one degree here so we have a little little rotation of one degree for example i'm going to select 50 degrees that adding here one value as you can see this value isn't one degree it's more why because this this rotation from zero to one it's one radian if you don't know what is a radian, I recommend you to see this tutorial where I explain you the difference between radians and degrees. So this concept is really important to understand when we use a vector connected to rotation, like right now, because we are isolating the three axes. So the main thing you have to know is that, for example, if we want to do a full cycle, so a full rotation, it's 2 pi. So if we write pi, this number, it's upside down because we did only half cycle so if we want to do another half cycle so a full cycle then we need to multiply this number by two so pi multiply by two it's a full cycle as you can see it's the same position but with this number it's a full cycle the only important thing you have to remember is that this number is really important to do a full cycle animation. Okay, so if I select one, is this rotation. If I select two, this rotation. That's why when we connect index here, 
every letter has a different rotation because this one is the number zero so the l doesn't have any rotation this one is one radian two radians three four five and six radian so you can see this one that is six is almost one full cycle but remember one full cycle was 6.28 etc okay so now that we know we are working with radians we want to animate this so let's add here a math node and if we change this number we are changing the index so basically we are changing increasing the rotation of all the letters okay but how we do that so we want this animation from zero focusing this one okay to this number remember two pi by the way two pi is the same that writing this word this word means two pi so if i write this we just did one full cycle so how we do this animation but for every letter in order to do this what we have to do is to add here a control so let's use a map range and now as you can see this one is in zero and these ones have this inclination that this inclination is one radian do you remember how i know that because it's this number so let's focus first of all in these two numbers these two numbers that says to minimum to maximum to minimum means in which rotation is before doing the animation so let's select zero that's perfect like this letter and now the others are in one radian that's why this is the maximum rotation however we say that we want one full cycle and we remember one full cycle is to pi so if we increase this as you can see with the other letters we are increasing the maximum rotation and remember we wanted this word to pi so now with these two numbers we are defining how many cycles we want so basically we want one full cycle okay so now if i move this let's check it as you can see if i decrease this every letter is rotating one full cycle perfect so i'm going to start i think one and if i decrease this until the number six so minus six it stops why because we have seven letters so it goes from the value one to minus six the important thing to know is that we have seven values because right now we have seven letters okay now before we continue as you can see when we rotate this it's not rotating from the center by the way if you don't want to rotate this in this direction so like this and you want to rotate it in this direction it's really easy just write this number in negative so now it's going to rotate in this direction as you can see right now okay so let's fix that they are rotating from this line right so remember they're rotating from the origin so basically they're rotating from the red line the x-axis as you can see so we need to offset this to fix this rotation to have the rotation from the center of the letters so let's add here before all this i'm going to move this here let's add set position because we want to offset these letters and in which axis let's check it this one no this one no this one z this is because before remember we rotated this so if i mute this you can see that actually is this axis but however when we add this rotation looks like it's another axis but it's this one if you don't know just click until you see it okay so basically what we want is to move the letter until we have this in the middle so we can do it like this 
Or if you want to know exactly which number is, this is really easy. We need to know how long is this, right? And divide it by 2. And how we can know this, this is really easy, is the extrude number. So this value, remember, this is the value of extruding these letters. So, for example, if I select 0 0.3, then here it should be, then here should be 0 0.3 divided by 2. However, it's going in this direction, and we want the opposite. We want this letter to go here. So let's add minus. And now, as you can see, the letters are perfectly centered in the origin axis. So when we are going to rotate this, they are going to rotate perfectly. OK, you can leave it like that. But if you want to change, for example, this, and update this, I'm going to show you how to do it. So basically, what I'm going to do is to add here a value to control the offset. So this to control the offset. And we say that this number has to be this number divided by 2 in negative. So let's add here a combine to isolate this number and then a math node. And connect it here. And connect this number here. And really important, we need to divide it by 2. So we can select divide and select 2. However, remember, it has to be negative this number. So if we want this number negative, then select by minus 2. And now, if you want to change the extrude with this value, don't worry, that always will be centered. And now to finish, if you want to animate this, we need to add keyframes here. What you can do is to do a full cycle, one letter, and then the next one starts. So like right now, for example, from 1 until 0, is doing this letter one cycle, right? And when this reaches 0, it starts the second one. You can do this animation if you want, but if you want to have a more organic animation, because this is a bit boring, then we need to play with these values. So the important thing, basically, if you increase this number, you are adding more letters to start rotating before this one finishes. So let's check it. I'm going to select something like, something like this, and you can see that this is making the other letters rotating. So, for example, I don't know, I'm going to select this number and come back to the start. So, right now will be this number. And if I decrease this, you will see that before this one finishes, the second one starts. So, with this number, you can play and decide how many letters do you want to start rotating before the first one finishes. You can increase more if you want, and you will notice that almost all the text is rotating. I'm going to select something like, I don't know, for example, pipe. And let's try. So let me go to the beginning. I think it's OK here. In, I think it's the same number. So let's select pi. And now I'm going to create a keyframe here. Insert keyframe. And I'm going to select this, the text to see the keyframes. And select this, really important. And I don't know. Go here and decrease this. Until the last letter have done a full cycle. So right now. And insert another keyframe. So now, if we press play, we have this animation. If it's too fast, just increase this distance.
And if you want to make it smoother, what you can do is to play with this. And select, for example, a smooth step or a smoother to see if there is some difference. I think it looks better with this animation. Let's try again linear and see the difference. Yes, for me, I don't know why, it looks better. Or maybe this one, let's check. So select the one that you prefer. This one or a smoother. But basically, this is how to do this animation. By the way, as a final tip, I want to tell you how to solve this little problem that we can see that the letters move a bit out of the range of the position of the letters. What I mean? So imagine we have these two lines, this one, and this one. So when the letters spin, as you can notice, they go out of these lines, right? So how we solve this? To solve this, what we have to do, as you can see, for example, here the T, is just to move a little bit this axis. So if we press Shift and we drag this, we can solve this problem. Just moving this, for example, in this direction, trying to match the letters in the same range. So they don't spin so much. Maybe a little less, something like, for example, let me check. Maybe like this, let's check. So now, look at the T. When it's spinning, we don't see this really big difference between the lines. So it's more perfect. So I hope you learned something new. And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more on my better. And see you in the next video.